today we shall be talking about sport fishing we shall be having an introduction about what sport fishing means or what is recreational fishing we shall be talking about different sport fishing techniques we shall be talking about the different trout streams in kashmir where sport fishing is being carried out before proceeding it is my request to you all to like and subscribe my channel by learnia sport fishing we also know it by the name of the recreational fishing and this fishing is for pleasure or recreation it is the fastest growing segment in tourism it is the fastest growing segment in tourism industry with an annual growth rate of 5% globally recreational fishing techniques include hand gathering spear fishing spear fishing netting angling and trapping when we talk about the angling angling that is fishing with rod line and hooks it is one of the most common for forms of recreational fishing another commonly practiced sport fishing is game fishing big game fishing which with speed boats which are used to catch large open water species such as tuna such as tuna sharks marlin so when we talk about the big game fishing it means that sport boats are involved and the large catch is expected and mostly big fishes such as tuna sharks marlin they are and they are fished a less common technique is bow fishing bow fishing and it is a regular bow or a crossbow which is used for fishing the effective use of fishing technique often depends on the knowledge about the fish habit and habitat their behavior including foraging and migration so to be a good fisherman to be a good sport fisherman you should be knowing the habitat of the fish their behavior their foraging behavior and their migration pattern so that you may be able to know where to fish and how to fish india has a long coastline large number of rivers and streams lakes reservoirs they offer vast opportunities for the sport fishing and angling india i was talking about that it has a very long coastline it measures about about 7516.6 km bordering the mainland and the islands so from be a bengal in the east from be a bengal in the east and indian ocean and indian ocean on the south this is the southern side indian ocean on the southern side and arabian sea in the west arabian sea in the west so it rightly extends from the gujarat in the west and toward the south and then toward the west in toward the west and if we consider the coastline of the its islands as well that is lakshadweep andaman and nicobar it is about 57516.6 km so water body it is on three sides that is arabian sea indian ocean and bay of bengal so arabian sea indian ocean and indian ocean and bay of bengal on the arabian sea there is western coast there is the western coast or we, we also call it as the um, um, malabar coast konkan coast so on the western side we do have the konkan coast malabar coast and the western ghats they are towards the eastern side and on the bay of bengal when we talk about the bay of bengal it is the eastern coast koromandal coast followed by eastern ghat toward the west so toward the west we do have the 
Eastern Ghats, Eastern Ghats, and it has the Coromandel coast. This is the Coromandel coast, and here in what do we have on the on the western side? We do have the Konkan coast. We do have the Malabar coast, and we do have the Western Ghats on the eastern side. And there is Dakkan Plateau as well. Dakkan Plateau as well. Dakkan Plateau. So Western Coast and the Western Ghats are important gateway for trade for more than 1,000 years between India and Europe via Arabian Gulf. So Western Western Coast and the Western Ghats they were the important gateway to trade for more than 1,000 years between India and Europe via Arabian Gulf. This route was used for the trade and supply of the popular Indian spices from Kerala. that is eastern coast and eastern ghats they were connecting india with the east asia and there are some very popular textile towns in this area for more than 1000 years due to the different climatic conditions in diverse regions of india best fishing season may however vary but october to november and april to june April to now October to November and then you know, this April to June they are regarded as the best sport uh, sport fishing seasons in the Himalayan rivers. While in the south it is April to September. The biggest advantage for the sport fishing in India is that all the major rivers stretches are easily reachable from the major towns and cities. so this is the important thing about the sport fishing in india sport fishing methods may vary according to the area fished the species to be targeted the personal strategies of the angler and the resources available it ranges from the aristocratic art of fly fishing elaborated in great britain to the high tech methods used to chase large blue water fish so these fly like gadgets which mimic those of the fly and the carnivorous fishes are attracted towards it we call this very method as the fly fishing sport fishing techniques the effective use of fishing techniques often depend on knowledge about the fish as i talked about their behavior including migration foraging and habitat there is is certainly an element of luck to fishing as well a recent science based synthesis article reveals that the fish capture is a complex function of three interdependent key, key processes that is an individual's uh, fish's internal state its encounter with gear and the characteristic of the encountered gear so all these things play an important role to for the successful fishing sport fishing is usually done with hook and line hook and line rod and reel rather than nets traps or other mass fishing methods so now we can catch number of the fishes by the nets traps and mass fishing gears but usually when it comes to the sport fishing we love to fish with the help of hook and line rod and reel non angling techniques such as bow fishing <clears throat> bow fishing and spear fishing they are also considered sport fishing this very picture that is picture number 4 here in this in this very picture electro fishing is being carried out electro fishing is being carried out where in the fisher fisherman has put on the gum shoes plastic insulated shoes and this is the battery which is being carried out and this is the rod which has the current in it so that the fishing can be done and this is usually the uh, the hook line hook hooks which are used and this is the rod and the reel here in this very uh, attractor light is also used attractor light is used here in the fish at is attracted towards the light and gets caught by the fisherman now when we talk about the streams or the rivers some of the major rivers and their tributaries 
where sport fishing are common in India. They are river Mahanadi. We do have the Mahanadi. Mahanadi. We do have the Yamuna. We do have the Yamuna. We do have the Kaveri. We do have the Ganges. We do have the Ganges. We do have the Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra. We do have the Satluj. Satluj. We do have the Jhelum. And many smaller rivers and streams of the Himalaya, they are the source of the attraction towards these very sport fishing. A wide variety of fishes such as Masi, Trout and Carps, they are commonly caught species in the inland waters. Stream feeding the Bias River in Kulu Manali region are home to some of the biggest varieties of the trout. In this and the Lither River, their tributaries and network of the smaller rivers of the Kashmir, they are famous for the sport fishing of trout and they are often referred to as the angler's paradise. Then we do have the many freshwater lakes in Uttarkashi Himalayas. We do have the Ram Ganga and the Sharda rivers in the range of the Jim Corbett National Park and the rivers and streams of the northeastern parts of the India. They are known for the Masirs, that is the king of the Indian sport fish. So you should be keeping in mind when, when it comes to the Masirs, Masir, that is Tor Putitora species but mostly Putitora that is golden Mahasir and that is called as the king of the Indian sport fish the Himalayan Mahasir it is commonly known as it is scientifically known as Tor Putitora it is known as Tor Putitora it is a it is a popular game fish and we call it as the angler's delight it is acclaimed as the world famous outstanding game and the food fish of India as a sport fish, golden masir provides unparalleled reaction to anglers from all over the world. It is known as tiger in water. Tiger in water. Because of it, because of the fight, it musters to wriggle off the hook. So when it tries to um, detangle itself from the hook, it, it pushes on. It uses greater force. We have recorded a maximum size of 2.74 meters and the weight of about 50 kg. So uh, the Mahasir having 2.74 meters of the length and 50 kg of the weight has also been recorded. The Department of Fisheries Government of Himachal Pradesh have established a golden Mahasir hatchery which is succeeded in captive breeding and stocking, ranching to augment its population and promote sport fisheries and similarly in in Jammu and Kashmir Anji Riasi has also one of the good hatcheries which which uh, which is used for the breeding of the Mahasir. Now let us have a little bit of uh, introduction about the uh, trout streams in uh, Kashmir Valley. Kashmir is called as the angler's paradise because the valley of Kashmir contains crystal clear, cold water, turbulent streams, mighty springs, sars and many high altitude lakes. Lofty, snow clad, -clad mountains, thick forests of pine trees, lush green meadows, beautiful valleys and beautiful fish fauna with pleasant healthy climate Kashmir offers great scope for the sport fisheries. That is why the anglers from all over the world come here every year to enjoy the thrill of angling in the snow-fed streams and the lakes of the Kashmir Valley. Department of Fisheries, uh, Government of Jammu and Kashmir, they have recognized different streams and they have, they have demarcated those very streams for the purpose of the trout fishing. Trout is present in all the streams and nalas of the valley. The important ones are the Lither, they are Lither, Wangath, Gurez, Hamal, Lam, Sindh, Kishan Ganga, Sukhnag, Dud Ganga, Aran, Firozpur, which is in Tangmark, then Bringi, Aharbal, Hirpura, Dachigam, Kokarnag, Naristan, Madhumati, and Naubag. They are recognized 
as the trout streams in the Kashmir Valley. Sport fishing or the game fishing is a recreational fishing activity that focuses mainly on the physical exertion and thrilling experience during the process of subduing a hard fighting fish which provides the fishermen the excitement of a challenge, a good sport or a game and a satisfying sense of achievement after successful catching the target. So, so the simple difference between the simple fishing and the game fishing is that the excitement of the challenge which a sportman feels while fishing its sport or its game. And I was talking about the satisfying sense of achievement after successful catching the target only comes when you have faced a hard fighting fish and which tries to detangle itself from the hard clutches of the fisherman. So this was all about the sport fishing and game fishing. Next time we shall be dealing with the sport fishing techniques, the different kinds of gears which are used for the fishing or sport fishing. Thank you. Thank you very much.